Into the top of the eighth inning at Kisa Stadium on what is now a warm, dare I say, hot Sunday afternoon in the Tri-Cities. The Dust Devils bats on the bottom of the seventh. Four runs on the board, giving them the lead. And now Dylan Phillips out of the bullpen. Charged to get three outs and get it to Cam Manassi, who's already starting to get up now in the Tri-City bullpen. That's not an indictment of Phillips' work, just a matter of the clear plan. Phillips the eighth, Manassi the ninth. As Dion Jorge gets a fastball from Phillips, missing one ball and no strikes. Spokane led 2-0 going to the bottom of the seventh. And the Dust Devils turn it around with a four spot. The 1-0. Jorge pops it in the air. Right field. Wandering in a bit is Yadiel Sanchez. He makes the catch easily for out number one. Routine fly ball out to right. One up and one down here in the eighth. Phillips got a loss in this series earlier this week. Now looking to get a hold here. No ERA, though. It was in extra innings. Unearned run is swing and a miss at a Phillips fastball running away from designated hitter Kyle Karros. A strike going one. So Phillips, two innings. Again, one run given up unearned on one hit. One walk, three strikeouts. The 0-1, breaking ball, swing and a miss. For strike two, slider moving toward the back foot and Karros over top of it. Phillips didn't have a wild pitch. No, that was in the 11th inning of a game, and that was how he got the loss, the 0-2. Slider low, one ball and two strikes. Fastball, slider. Can work the fastball a couple of different ways, take a bit off it. One and two to Karros, who is 0 for 2 with a walk. And Karros reaching base in every game of this series. The 1-2. Just low. And a fastball. Looked like it painted the black on the outside edge, but Tyler Hovick deeming it low. Two balls and two strikes. As the lefty from Omaha, Nebraska, ready. And the pitch. Fastball popped high in the air, fell out of play first base side. Did just receive the official attendance in this one. 1,322 here for our Sunday afternoon contest. Thanks to everybody for coming out. And the Dust Devils had their largest ever April crowd for a game last night. 22-26 the attendance. The 2-2 a slider just missing. Either outside or a little high. Can hear the umpires in the stands getting on Tyler Hovick a bit there. Count full, three balls and two strikes. Right fielder Robbie Martin Jr. on deck for the Indians. The payoff pitch. Karros on the ground to third and on a long hop and eats up Ben Goebel and gets out into left field. Karros a long round of first, but he will hold there. And an error goes on the board. Kyle Karros the board via E5 that is scored. So runner at first with one out here in the eighth for Spokane. Tri-City leading four to two. And Robbie Martin Jr. now steps up as the potential tying run to the, to the plate. Phillips home. Slider fouled away. A strike going one. Both teams with five hits on the afternoon. Tri-City four runs, five hits, and now an error. Two runs, five hits, no errors for Spokane. Phillips set in the stretch, the 0-1. In on the hands, foul again. Phillips out in front now. No balls and two strikes. Double play ball would end the inning. Martin Jr. has good speed, though. So it'd have to be hit hard and turned well. The Dust Devils do that. Already double-digit double plays this year. The 0-2. Low, good stop by Ronaldo Flores. A ball and two strikes. The 1-2. Breaking ball, and it's there. Strike three. 
The slider finding the outside edge. Martin Jr. can only watch. Two outs here in the eighth. Runner at first, and that'll be all for Dylan Phillips. Willie Romero is going to Cam Manassi here with Jesus Bugarin, the right-hand hitting left fielder, coming to the plate. So two-thirds of an inning for Phillips. The runner at first is responsibility, and Cam Manassi will be asked for a four-out save.